What is up guys, Fahir here from AwesomeTutes.com. One of the most common questions I get is, how can I get a job as a game developer or as a programmer? How can I get the companies to notice me and hire me? And when somebody asks me that, I respond with a question, which is, do you have a website? Do you, did you create any app? Do you have something to showcase? Where is your portfolio? Where did you put the code that you write? Do you have any videos to show me your projects or whatever? And the response to this is usually no, I don't. So if you don't have any of these, don't expect to get hired because you need to have something to showcase. And I did a case study with one of my students named Charles and he talks about how he landed a job. Funny thing is that me and Charles talked about like two weeks ago and the other day he just sent me a message, hey man, I got a job. And two weeks ago when we talked, he was like, I learned a lot of things, so on and so forth. And now I'm looking for a job, I'm applying and I wrote my portfolio and I have my website up. And like just a couple of days ago, he's like, man, I got a job. And it's with a game development company working on an awesome project. So I'm gonna let him talk about that. I will show you the case study now. He points out some really important things that you can also use. So if you're interested to get a job in the programming field, in the game development field, you should watch this whole case study from start to end. He points out a really cool thing that he did in his resume to spark that question. You know, he put something that makes the person who reads that resume, ask him, okay, how did you did this? How did you do this? Uh, explain it to me. So watch it till the end. And one very important thing is if you want to get tips and tricks from me, how to get more downloads on your apps, how to get job as a game developer and all of those things in between, subscribe to my mailing list. Link is in the description below. You will also receive all the tutorial assets that I have that I'm doing on my YouTube channel so you can follow along all those tutorials and you will receive three or four emails per week from me with a lot of tips and tricks which can be very useful to you. So if you're interested, sign up below. And now watch the case study. And bam, we are in. So uh, before we, you know, before we do anything, you can just introduce yourself, tell us your name, your last name, where you're from. Sure. My name is Charles Olmstead. I live currently in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, in the United States, and I'm in the process of relocating to Huntsville, Alabama for a job with the game studio. Awesome, man. Yo, for those people who are watching, me and Charles just talked like two weeks ago, and he, he was telling me how he found Awesome Dudes, how he started learning, and he was benefiting, and he you know, fell in love with game development, and that was like a few weeks ago. And like just today we were talking, he's like, man, I got a job and you know, and it's just awesome. Now the job's in a studio working on interactive training modules for the military. We're not going to go into details what he is going to do because it is secret, of course, which you will understand. And, but we will go through the process, you know, how he went and how he got that job. So you can tell us a little bit about that, man. First thing is a brand. You want to stick with the brand. If you look up my stuff online, it's all under C minor 22 entertainment. That's my Twitter handle. That's my um, Instagram. That's my website. Brand. Exactly brand, brand. what I am telling anybody. You know, people come to me and they, they tell me, you know, I, I published the game, but I don't get many downloads. And I ask them, do you have a website? Do you have a Twitter account? Do you have a YouTube account? No. Well, then you will not get any downloads. And this right. is the correct example for that. Yes. So everything's all under that brand, C Minor 22 Entertainment. Uh, then the other thing I did is I focused my online portfolio to all showcase nothing but Unity projects because I was going for Unity developer positions. And then finally, I rewrote my entire resume top to bottom. And instead of staying, stating what I did daily in my jobs, I put my achievements. Uh, like I put my college capstone project on there. And one of the item lines on there says um, improved uh, frame rate from 8 to 10 frames per second to 30 frames or higher. And so that shows accomplishment, what I've achieved. And it opens that door where they're like, hey, how did you do this? 
what, how do you achieve this? How did you get there? And that the, showing those accomplishments is what really opened the door. Cause I'm changing mediums. I'm not staying in that same field. I'm entering a new market, uh, a game d- a development job that I've never done before. So I needed to make sure that I got that door open and that I showcased what it is that I could bring to the table. Another thing that I'm telling to people, you know, people are like, how can I get a job? Well, do you have projects to show? Well, I don't. Well, then how do you expect somebody to hire you? How can you show them what you know? So create projects, put them online, believe it or not. Once I wrote a three line, three codes of line app that just parses web data with JSON and puts it in an iOS app. And I was contacted from a firm from us that firm was from Spain, and they were like, "Hey, we, we got a job position for." I was like, "Who are you? Where did you find me?" They like, oh, "We found you on GitHub. You have this, you know, source code here." And I was like, "Based on that?" They're like, "Yeah, based on that." So yeah. anything, any two lines, three lines, ten lines of code, just write something that is, you know, visible, useful, and you have a visual example here with Charles. You just. You know, put that on his resume and bam, there you go. I mean, you know, and a lot of that, I'm supposing that you learned from Awesome Dude as well. So you were learning from us. Awesome, man. Awesome. You know, this will help a lot of people. Thank you very much for showing up here to talk with me. This will inspire a lot of people. Again, you know, just to to emphasize to people that he learned with us. So, yeah, you can follow us and, and, you know, you can learn the same things that Charles did and, you know, you see the accomplishments right here. Thank you very much, man. I don't want to take too much of your time anymore. Thank you very much again for taking this time to take to talk with me and uh, wish you good luck and keep informing me on the job and keep informing me on your accomplishments, man. Definitely. Thank you, Fahir, for all your inspiration and all the knowledge that you've shared. Awesome, man. I will keep posting more stuff, so look out for it. Thank you and take care. Thank you. Bye-bye, man. Take care, Fire. See you next time, bud. And there you have it. You heard Charles and what he did, what he wrote on his resume, what he put up in order to get the attention of employers. And I've also linked his website. Link is in the description below so you can look it up. It's a pretty simple website, but it showcases his projects. So this is what you need to do. This is how you can get a job. So you need to have a website. You need to have your code online for people to see because if I want to employ you and I want to see what you did how you're gonna you know build an app right there uh, on the spot no you're not gonna do that so you need to have something to show me what you did and also be prepared to explain some of the things of the app because you created it and if I ask okay how did you do this you will need to explain how did you do it and if you watched and paid attention to the whole video conversation. The thing I said about my app, I was not kidding. I literally, I literally wrote a three line code, three or four, I cannot remember, but it was not more than five, definitely. So a couple lines of code, a parsing app using JSON to pick up web data and simply put it in an iOS app. And I put that on GitHub and just like that, I received an email from a company and they're like, do you want to work for us? And I was like, uh, you know, I, I was like, is this a joke? I mean, based on that. And they're like, based on that. So again, if you want to get a job as a programmer, as a game developer, work in the industry, do what Charles said and just copy his style. And follow here from awesomedudes.com. I will see you guys in the next video.